Welcome to the Milwaukee Public Library Makerspace at Home Edition. I'm Makerspace Facilitator Mycia, and today we're featuring a project from our free grab and go taking make kits, the Rube Goldberg machine. Rube Goldberg was a cartoonist who made drawings of machines that were designed to complete everyday tasks in elaborate ways. His machines were often over the top, using methods to accomplish the job that went above and beyond, but all in good fun. In this kit, you will find a few items that will get you started on your Rube Goldberg machine. A ping pong ball, a wooden spool, wooden stick like a skewer, a marble, water balloons, and some string. Not included in the kit are some scissors and some tape. These things will come in handy. You will also need some household objects that you can recycle for this project. Anything you have on hand will do. We recommend toilet paper and paper towel rolls, popsicle sticks, water bottles, cardboard, and other objects like bowls, cups, and books. At the core of our Rube Goldberg machine project are six simple machines, physics, engineering, and problem solving. This means you get to invent and explore and experiment in order to create your very own Rube Goldberg machine. These are the six simple machines. Incline plane, lever, screw, pulley, wheel and axle, and wedge. Let's get started. An incline plane is a flat surface raised on one end that moves an object up or down with less force. Use the surface of a flat object and prop it up against another object to raise one end. Use this like a ramp to slide objects in different directions. A lever is made with a beam and a fulcrum. You can place an object on one end of the beam and apply a force on the opposite end to lift the object. The beam sits on top of the fulcrum and the beam will pivot on the fulcrum to raise the object. Use a flat surface like a ruler, popsicle stick, or piece of cardboard as your beam and place it on top of a pencil, bottle, or fashion a triangle block out of cardboard to use as your fulcrum. A screw is an inclined plane twisting around a cylinder. Imagine a spiral staircase. This is a screw. To create one, you will need a paper towel tube, cardstock, scissors, something to write with, and lots of tape. Cut out the circles so that they are about an inch and a half wider than the tube. Cut out the center so that there is enough room to wrap the paper around the tube. Secure with tape at both ends and continue to wrap your circles around the tube. Feel free to reinforce different areas with more tape and adjust your ramp so that it goes in the direction that you would like. If you place a marble at the top, it's going to have so much momentum that it's going to slide off the edges right away. To prevent this, you can add a wall. Cut strips of paper and add the same length of tape. Add slits to the tape so that you can curve it around your ramp. Now when you add a marble, it won't go flying off the edges and will go into your desired area. A pulley is a wheel with a groove which allows a cord to pass through it. The pulley changes the direction of the force being applied to the cord. A pulley can be used to lift and move heavy objects. I added a piece of tape to the end of the skewer to help prevent the spool from flying off when heavy objects are applied. You can experiment lifting different weights by attaching different objects on either end of the string. Here I created a pouch to lift the quarters up on the opposite end. A wheel and axle is a circular object revolving around a central shaft, which reduces friction allowing the object to move easier. Use bottle caps, round container lids, or create wheels from cardboard. Attach your wheels to a bamboo skewer and then create the axles with a straw then attach your set of wheel and axles to a container to make your cart. A wedge is an object that tapers to a thin edge. It creates a sideways force in the direction it is pushed. Think of a door stopper. This is a wedge. It can be used as a tool to split, lift, or tighten and attach objects together. A wedge can also be attached to a handle, like an axe. 
Explore each one of these on their own until you get a better understanding of how each one functions and then combine them together to make compound machines to build up a chain of reactions for your Rube Goldberg machine. I am kicking off my chain of reactions by adding water to this funnel that is slowly dripping into a bucket at the end of my lever. This will drop that end and lift the other which will raise a flag for my finale. Next I take some board game chips and set it at the bottom of my screw and toss some marble down the ramp. The marble will knock down some chips and fall down a funnel and I need at least one of these to land in the cart held back by a wedge at the top of an inclined plane. The weight and momentum on the cart will reveal a message from the pulley if the Rube Goldberg machine sequence is successful. Congratulations, you did it! You can create your Rube Goldberg machine to do other simple tasks like popping a balloon, lifting an object, revealing and hiding an item, or directing a ball into a cup. Check out the instruction booklet for more about physics. We hope you had a great time with your Take and Make Kids from the Milwaukee Public Library Makerspace at Home Edition. If you would like to provide your feedback, please follow the survey link here. We would love to see what you came up with. Please tag us on Instagram at MPLCurates or email us at MPLCurates at Milwaukee.gov to show us your creations. Until next time, thanks for watching!